explain that well we had a balance what was, in those yeah. days Gaelic football was part of a healthy balanced life now we would have been ferociously committed we would have trained four times a week at times you know we would have played for our clubs and um, there was that understanding that you know Monday morning you were back in work and you had a normal balanced life you know we had lads who were married everybody had a career I was pursuing a career as a lawyer you couldn't do that nowadays mm. you know we had a doctors architects accountants you know Anthony Tohill double yeah. first at Queen's you know pursuing his career in the civil service he's now the CEO of the, the first big super council in the north was there a time when and, people uh, said he might go to Manchester United I, there's a funny story but he, 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 uh, he was one see what happened was it, was it was sort of all that at that time Keith Gillespie and then yeah. was, and everybody was going to be the next George Best <laughs> and and Michael O'Neill in fact yes. he went and knew he was going to be the next George Best and and uh, Toll then you see the thing about Toll like Toll's a full six foot five and he's built up to it he looks like Captain America to this yeah. day like yeah. I mean, his physique was phenomenal yeah you know he worked out and he was you know he'd come back from Aussie rules and he really he was gleaming yes he was like Thor looking yes. down at you you know and uh, square jawed and you know he's a fabulous physical specimen and um, we we uh, I'm sorry, I've lost the train of my thought there. Well, we, we, we were talking, talking about, about him possibly going to... Oh, aye, so what happened was, yeah. you see, uh, during the off-season, because you could do this sort of thing then, you know, you weren't prevented from doing anything. Mm -hmm. There was no drink bans or anything. Boys, look, we all looked after each other very, yeah. very, very well because we knew what was going to be required. Like, you mm -hmm. could, there was no second chance with this stuff. But anyway, and this was the focus of our lives, the main focus, but anyway, but it didn't obliterate everything else like it does now, but anyway, Toll, <laughs> he, he was, he, he talked out in the off-season to play soccer for Park. Yeah, you see, and nearly about the first game he played, you know, and you know the way in the Irish Cup in the North, you, you, all the wee teams start playing in the early rounds yes. as well. So he scored a hat trick of headers from corners because he was huge, <laughs> you see, and he could use his upper body, and he was just yeah. flattened boys. Mm. He was a well powerful man. And anyway, this Jesus and Derry City saw this, you see, hat trick total, and you know, astonishing performance, you know, blah blah blah. So Derry City bought him. Great business. <laughs> they bought him. I think they paid something like total negotiated something like ten thousand pounds. You see, <laughs> so he's now a Derry City player, and scouts are coming over because this this has gone all over the papers because it was Anthony Toll. Yeah, I remember. Scouts it, yeah. are coming over, and Manchester United scout came over and said this guy's a beast, and brought him over, That's persuaded right. Alex Ferguson he should be brought over for a trial, and they fast tracked him. The scout was so impressed by him that they fast tracked him, because you know Toll was wrecking and tearing for Derry City, you see, <laughs> and busting boys, you know that he wasn't even realised he was doing it. Yeah. Just pure physical strength, and the soccer boys don't use their upper bodies. No, they do now. Uh, but sort not of. So much then. Uh, sort of. Not you need way, you need upper body. Not the way strength. not the way yeah. Toll and the boys would do it. You yeah, see yeah. the physiques of the soccer boys. Yeah. I was I was sitting beside some of the Arsenal boys at an event, mm. and I couldn't believe how slim they were. Yeah. You know because they don't need it. Mm. I mean Toll was you know. Yeah. I mean, he would, you know, eat those boys for his breakfast. Yeah. So anyway, he went out, and it was Kanchelskis and Roy Keane and all that, yes. and uh, Pallister, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And Ferguson decided, you see, you, know, you meet Tolly, so imposing. She comes him, "How you doing, son?" You know, she said, "I'm fine, big lad." You know, this type of thing. And <laughs> no, and 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 for so I'm going to throw you in with the first team. Brilliant, Tolly said. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's 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 what I'm that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So Toll goes out anyway. You see, the first ball that comes in, Kantelskis sort of coming across at the diagonal to gather it, and Toll just plows straight into him. You know, <laughs> straight up the field, bang, puts him up in the air. Kantelskis rolls over three or four times. Toll comes through him and belts the ball upfield. You see. You can see this is sort of a Jesus. <laughs> you see, <laughs> we should point out Anchelskis was a United player. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's, it's a tri it was a trial game. You see, so, yeah. so um, the next ball that comes in, he scatters somebody else. Anchelskis, meanwhile, has gone over to the sideline. <laughs> Jesus, that's apparently said to Ferguson, "Get this fucker off before he kills somebody." <laughs> you see, so after about ten minutes, Ferguson had seen enough, and he calls up Big Anthony over. You see, and Anthony is over. Ferguson said to him, "He says." Ah, I think we've got you a bit late, son. <laughs> <laughs> There's just be too much to do there, you know. So he arrived home with a full Manchester United kit, and uh, and uh, and of course, lucky for Anthony, really. I mean this sincerely because the dysfunction of a professional sports life, you know, oh yes, and, and yes. all of that, you know. Yeah, whereas nice. Anthony came back home, won an All Ireland with Derry, yes, um, became one of the most celebrated people in Irish life, uh, 
And like all this, those fellas who had balance in their life, you know, he stopped playing for Derry when he was about 30. Yes. You know, he's now an underage coach in his club. Yes. You know, the great Anthony Dole, he's taken under 14, under 12 teams in Swatra, or the yeah. SWA as they call it. Yeah. And a really modest, down to earth fellow who's integrated into his community and yeah, you know, lives I, a very balanced life. And that's my issue with, yes, I, I know with it the is current game. 